I, I grew up in a family where um, I was only allowed to read and watch certain kinds of films and literature. Nothing that was lowbrow, so to speak, at all. Wasn't allowed. There was nothing like that in my home. Um, so Shakespeare became something like that for the, this family. Even one as mighty as the phantom halo has the mark of dirt upon his skin. For no one truly ever escapes their home. So, the, and the comic books was, were, was the kinds of things that I wanted to watch when I was a kid. Like regular cartoons instead of only Looney Tunes. You got to use your Shakespearean skills yeah. to in this film. Talk about that. Yeah, that was really interesting actually. When I read the script, I thought, you know, what, what an interesting background. I mean, the, the man was, what I loved about the man is this, it's this, um, it's this cruel irony that he was, a, you know, probably a god of the West End in Shakespeare, and then suddenly, and there's the man who goes, you know, in search of stardom to Los Angeles and falls on hard times, and and everything sort of uh, becomes like a Shakespearean tragedy for him. You think you're so strong, <laughs> so grown up, but you're just a petty thief slipping his hand into the pocket of the world. That's what you taught me. I think the, sh the film in itself is very much like a Shakespearean tragedy. Uh, I feel like Beckett uh, and Although Sam... Although I didn't do that on purpose. No, no, you didn't, do it, you didn't do it on purpose. A lot of people but, uh, say it's but, uh, like Hamlet. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Well, yeah uh, the ending is at least... Yeah, I, the I ending. I didn't, I didn't think of that. But no, but even it's as weird. I was watching it, I thought Beckett and Samuel are a bit like Prince Hal, and, mm -hmm. and I'm sort of this full staff gone bad and then the end feels like a very Shakespearean tragedy. It's a bit of a Mexican standoff, but at the same time, you know, if you see the end of Hamlet, it's this enormous piling of corpses. Mm. But but you know, with a <coughs> and what I love is the heart and the gravitas of the film, you know, mixed in with a lot of a lot of levity. Yeah. It takes we yeah. It was a hoot. We had a great time. We had a great we, time. We laughed. We, yeah. we had a blast. We really had a blast. Well as Beckett, you had to kind of um, you were the pickpocket who while your brother, Samuel, who was kind of the dreamer and, and the person who um, wanted to have a different life and looked at Phantom Halo as his hero from the comic books, and it was just kind of the opposite, Shakespeare versus comic book lore. Um, you'd had to do some pickpocketing, and can you tell me, how did you prepare for that? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I went out, I went out and I uh, pickpocketed people. <laughs> no, for, for me, I think it was just about uh, we, we tried to find different ways to, you know, to make it look real, sleight of hand. We were filming a take, and I went to pickpocket one of the individuals in the crowd. And when I did it, I did it, and I turned, and some man grabs my hand, and he says, you, you, he was European, I can't do his accent, but he says, you do not steal. And he had his, finch cl his, his fists clenched, and I thought he was going to hit me in the face. Um, and I, 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 I touched him and said, man, look behind you. We're, we're, filming, we're filming a movie. <laughs> we're filming a movie. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess that was, uh, that was my preparation. I'm a terrible pickpocket. <laughs> well, I thought that little Larry, I thought you were going to um, stop him at some point. You know, I was waiting for, you know, this guy's looking at him kind of funny. What's going to happen here? Uh, yes, in the first scene. Mm -hmm. You kind of admired me. <laughs> oh, uh, you thought I was going to stop him? <laughs> little Larry wants to. Uh, little Larry definitely would not stop him. Uh, if, if anything, he was in complete admiration uh, watching this friend from his childhood, uh, you know, back in his old tricks. So, if anything, he probably wanted just some more to talk to him about uh, how long he's been pickpocketing and how his technique's gotten better. Well, and you also had uh, the uh, ability to work together to become even greater buddies. And tell me how that, that did. Uh, relationship developed? Um, well, that relationship developed on and offset. I think it was just oh, Luke and I. Yeah, we, we had a great chemistry. We from chemistry the, from the get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> which was great. We became really good friends on set, which I think, uh, I think um, you know, obviously played excellently sure. into the, yeah, into yeah. the roles. Um, but the characters, <coughs> the characters need each other for their own their own different reasons. I mean, Beck, Beckett's obviously desperate in his own his own way financially. Um, and Larry's desperate to have a change in his life. Well, there's a lot of complications with the relationships because you now have Beckett involved with um, Rebecca Romaine as uh, kind of a oh, yeah. Mrs. Robinson type character, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think for, for, for our relationship, I mean, um, 
essentially I was using uh, little Larry the entire time. I mean, there are moments where I get lost with him and we kind of en we're enjoying ourselves, we're having a great time. Um, but, at the, but at the same time, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm seeing his mother. Last question. The scene that took the most takes. The scene that took the most. Me and uh, Rebecca Romaine making out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really? Probably. Was that on no, purpose? I, I wish, <laughs> I wish, I wish it took the most. Fire on <laughs> yes. The, the finale, the Mexican standoff took... Uh, took two days but we scheduled to, it to the point where we were laughing our heads we, had, <laughs> we, went, we went into delirious giggles <laughs> i was so happy when we got through that